So I believe right. last we were talking about uh, family and, you know, being yeah. welcomed into the LGBT community um, before we took our yeah. short little break there. Yeah. Um, so <laughs> I wanted to know, cause uh, I read that you had a son before you messaged me that you, that you were with your son, but I don't know why, because obviously women are in the industry, women have kids, women, but for some reason, anytime you hear that, you're like, oh, like it not, 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 not and nothing negative, yes. but I was just like, oh, I no, didn't no, no, think no. she had a kid. <laughs> yeah, so true. And, and do you know what? I think that's when, um, as well, and not yourself, but people do, and I do get a lot of hate on this, um, is the fact that people like, what? you're in the sex industry, you do porn, you do all the dirty things you do, but you've got a son, that's really wrong. And it's like, I how do you think what? I got the son? No, I'm just kidding. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and just kidding. You know I'm really glad. I, I had him when I was like 18. I was going to ask you how old he was, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And and the thing is, is he's like a big four and I'm so so happy that I had him so young yeah because the fact is as well is that I think I'd probably be dead by now yeah so before my son um you know was born I was in very much in a really bad place and I was kind of like heavily on drugs on crack um or all of that type of thing um and he was my savior to be honest with you That's he was amazing. my real savior yeah yeah and um and of course it was um me and the dad then broke up um so it's been me and him for 14 years 14 amazing years and now he's a teenager he's going through all the different hormones that teenagers do um but I am just so happy you know I've got I have got two lives. At the end of the day, I've got my my being a mum and I've got my kind of um like work life slash social life yeah. slash being a cop destroyer, being an escort. You know, all of that is in there and, and doing porn. Yeah. And some people as well just are like, right, yeah, but you shouldn't be doing that if you've got, you know, if you've got family or you've, What's or you've it got to them? children. Did they raise your yeah, son? Yeah. Like... <laughs> It's like, do you know what? So when I was growing up, when I was younger, we didn't have a lot of money. It mm. was a real struggle. You know, my dad did absolutely the best I uh, best he could. You know, I didn't have all the nice clothes. I didn't have stuff. You know, it really makes you kind of really appreciate things. So a lot of, um, let's say, material stuff doesn't matter. Don't get me wrong. I love, so one thing I really do love is fast cars. I love the F1. I literally that's probably why I'm banned from driving for another year this is my second no. ban and it, yeah it's it's because I love going fast I, I just love feeling that under my feet you know um but um yeah apart from that you know material things just don't really you know sometimes I know this sounds um quite funny but sometimes I'll, I'll buy something but all my stuff really now is for work, right? Yeah. So I need a new outfit to do this shoe. So um, you know, in that way, it's it's mainly all for work that I buy. I don't really expect anything, you know. Yeah. And actually, it's so nice because I haven't had um a birthday present in years, and what came through this morning was um. A Rebecca was a jacket from Charity Case. So I don't know if you know Charity Case. I do, I do. Um, but they're amazing. Yeah, I yeah, follow they're them amazing. On, online. Yeah. So they made me a um a a, a jacket and I had this massive, massive Sophie Anderson card. And I'm like, oh, oh my, my gosh. gosh. Do you have it? Can I see it? Oh my god. Yeah, it's in the other room. Give me two seconds. I'll yeah. go grab it. That's yeah. amazing. You're amazing. So you're, I love you. So, <gasps> Shut so you up. <laughs> that's from Charity Case. That's amazing. Oh my God. No, I from... love that. That <laughs> so is so amazing. cool. So it's like, it's just so nice. But well, that you blows know, my what, gift out of the like water. You were saying about having a child, and I love it. Thank you. I know that's <laughs> Um, but yeah, and, and but that's the thing is like you can be a mum and you can um you know be in the sex industry. There's there's like no there's no problem with that. Actually, at the yeah. end of the day, I work really really hard. Like 
I will say because my business is 24-7, yeah. you know, and and so the downside, I would say the only downside is to this business is the fact that, um, you know, particularly by the way I look as well, my son does go through a lot. Especially okay, now he's yeah. got into his teenage years, I is was the fact ask that people, you. yeah, people aren't so nice out there, and yeah. so we found now that we've we've made a nice that we've got a little apartment. Hopefully, I'll be moving next year because we want a bit more space. Now he's okay. older as well, we just want a bit more space. Um, but um, yeah, so what we find is that we can't really go out anywhere um, anymore because of people making comments. Um, and that's really, really, that's the difficult side of things, especially yeah. now, now he's a teenager. It isn't very nice for him to, for us to go out. And then we have like, and people don't care. I'm, I'm telling you, is they'll say slut. They'll be looking at the end of like shopping aisles and, kind and making of, it like, obvious so, too. They're not even trying obvious. to hide and, it. Yeah. And, Exactly. And for a 14 year old boy, um, yeah. you know, that isn't great. That so isn't th great. Well, any, any teenager, you know, so in that way, so what I've done here is made our own little sanctuary. Um, so my son has his room, I've got mine and then we have our space where we come together mm -hmm. and it's in, you know, we'll watch TV and all that type of thing. And, and yeah. we really made like a nice little space here. It's very important to still have that time with him. Um, it's very important to me. Um, although he's grown up and he's like, oh, I'm no, no, mum, no, you, mom, but yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, but it, and he's really doing his own thing now. So I have got a bit more time. Um, not that I, I like. I'm like, what do I do with my time? Okay, right. I'll work online. Yeah, yeah. So I'm even with him all working, and and it's great. You know, it's it's providing not only him a good future, but I, you know, I really want to buy a house and everything. I I want to progress, which means he'll get that in the end as yeah. well. Um, but it is difficult. That's the, that's the that's the real downside. And I will say that it's not our doing. You know, it's not me and my son going. Oh yeah, look at mom. You know, yeah. Or, you know, look at me, look at me. Because I'll be wearing like a baggy Something, stuff. Something, yeah. Still, you know, so, um, I'm very respectful of him and his feelings in that way. And and I think that's just, you know, I would say any kind of, um, you know, person in the industry who does have children is just think, oh, you know, that maybe is not that great. There's a couple of times that I, um, you know, we're very close, me and my son. And yeah. there's a couple of times like mum, actually i prefer if you didn't wear that or you know we're, we're very close actually i'd be like right okay yeah that's you know if we've been going out for a meal i might dress up a bit more put a bit of makeup on yeah and it's like mom i don't really fine fine that that's yeah. cool that's cool and it's definitely having that communication there which i think is is the best thing in kind of any type of relationship communication so, is definitely know, key too, too right yeah so so again like i said i think that's that's that's, that's the downside to things is actually the reaction and you know people are very negative out there about sex workers in the adult industry and and that is what really me and rebecca wanted to change with the whole cop destroyers movement i love that and that's part of why i look up to you and why you're one of my hometown highlights is because you're so sex positive especially when it comes to women and in the minority community as like the lgbt community and stuff you guys took that that field of of uh, entertainment or whatever, and it took it by storm, and that was amazing. Definitely. But and, and I love it that as well. it's empowerment. I love that you and her have done that, and I I love that you brought up what you were just talking about because it's perfect with what I wanted to ask you. It brings me into okay. perfectly segues. So I wanted to know uh, if your son uh, if your son knows what you do. Like I know your how you look and how that yes. you just mentioned that that causes. Were you open and honest with him, or did he come to you and find out and be like, Mom, what is this? No, or... <laughs> no, I, yeah, I decided in when he first started secondary school that we needed to sit down. Okay. Um, because it was, 
I just think actually that's another thing as well so another kind of downside is that I don't have anything I have to do like things to do with his school work and everything like that <sighs> but as in the way of going up to the school if he has anything on there then it's yeah. something I don't do I ask the teachers to send everything home if yeah. um if that's the case so do I think he really misses out in that way? No, because again, we're so we have that communication. I have the communication with the teachers. Yeah. You know, I'm also in contact with kind of I, I don't know what it's called over there, but kind of the social services, um, yep, yep. kind of to help parents. Um, 100%, you know, yeah. I'm in contact with them because I I think it's very important to um, make sure that your children or child is okay mentally. With because I've made the decision to be in the sex industry in the adult industry my son hasn't said oh yeah you know it's great yeah. it's great because it isn't and um, but what again what you need is that communication but what i do hopefully that i've shown to my son as well is the fact again like you were saying it's very good to be open and honest you know um i'm there for him with his sexuality i'm the very sex positive myself so so supportive um again it's um it's also as well is that i look at everybody um you know um in in the lgbt community and, and and everybody that looks up to me is the fact that you're all my little babies you I know that. that's how I, I i look at it so i instantly it's, felt uh, that really great yeah <laughs> so you mentioned that like when you go out you get looks I, have you spent have you spent a decent amount of time in the states or ha have you not really traveled that much I, actually i come to the states to have mostly have my surgery to obviously me and my son have come to go and see disney so we've been over there okay. two times now for disney okay. um so yeah so that's that's cool do you find that people is there a difference between because my friend actually brought this question up my friend brianna do you find that people uh in america are look at you any differently like is it is there a difference between the cultures in the uk and here or is it kind of about the same you get and have you had mostly negative or positive reviews since you've that Come is that is a real interesting question because I'm actually so when I first I know so I was on the beach I was near I was staying at Margaritaville in okay. um in Florida and I just had my surgery done there with Dr. Revis um it's South Florida plastic surgery just in Fort Lauderdale Shout and out there. I went the next day yeah <laughs> <laughs> so I just had my surgery done and um, I went out and there was kind of like, oh, uh, there was that kind of thing. There was a girl coming down on roller skates. She went, oh, my, you know, I still get that wherever I go. But you know what? Actually, my that kind of negativity only gives me more strength. Uh, I was going to say with you, it really does. And I love I, ever since I was I was young, you know, I've, I've I, all I wanted was fake bolt on breasts and that's exactly what I've got um so it's fantastic I put it out there and what's happened you know but not which is actually that's another great segue because the next talking point I have is a quote that you said my dream was to have the most fake looking breasts in the UK it's nothing to do with anybody else it's just the way I feel I know a lot of people actually hate them but it's not about them it's about how I feel and how I look at myself I want to feel great in me Yes. And I love that. And I wanted to know, like, did you get that confidence after or did you have it? And I know you mentioned you had some sort of body issues. And I was wondering if that played into why you wanted surgeries and just did you talk a little bit about the surgeries and how that how that. Yeah, yeah, sure. Um, so, so yeah, I mean, uh, it was basically the reason why I wanted the breath. I mean, I was always a double A um, okay. you know, in and. Um, and then, I, so I had no surgery before having my son. So my first surgery, I think, was about when I was 19. Um, and that was my first breasts. Um, okay. Because I've had about five now. And um, okay. I always knew what I wanted. Um, so, and it, so I had my first ones done. My second ones um, was just a, a disaster. So it was over here. I... I being honest with you, I wouldn't ever have surgery in the UK again. Okay. Um, so it 
was it was just a disaster the way they treated me um i won't say the company or anything but yeah. the way they treated me it was just terrible they fogged me off basically what happened was i had a uni boo so the two um was just a, a disaster so it was over here i i being honest with you, I wouldn't ever have surgery in the UK again. Okay. Um, so it was it was just a disaster. The way they treated me, um, I won't say the company or anything, but yeah. the way they treated me it was just terrible. They fogged me off. Basically, what happened was I had a uni boob. So the two um yep. uh implants met. There I've was seen no <laughs> Yeah, yeah. And you know what? It was like that for eight years. Um, just no. because at the time I was feeling so low, I couldn't really work um because I felt so embarrassed about it. Um, so basically I could I didn't have any funds there. I yeah. had no funds to um really pay for um new boobs. So I wasn't really seeing any clients because I felt so um horrible in myself. Um, you know as in like body issues um yeah i was overweight when i was ch when, when i was a child um and that's just like puppy fat you know but it really yeah. stick with you. um it made the bullying um it was such a big factor in school so um so yeah it was um it was very very a difficult time and then suddenly when i was so I moved then to Wiltshire from Bristol and um, then what happened was I then had a went into this year six, um, which is like this, this kind of sixth year just before you go to like secondary school. And then that's when I kind of developed a real kind of eating disorder there with like bulimia and anorexia. And I was so thin, like I but that always sticks with you. And even now you're like. I I mean, I'm like, oh, yeah, I could starve myself for a day because I feel really shit today. But it's, it's you know, and then I then also go, I look in the mirror and, and it's kind of that, um, you know, it's still in your head like you're too fat, you're too fat. So even now I kind of think, oh, I really want my bones to show and all of that. But it's just mental things that's kind of stuck with me. And they always will. Even if you go through therapy or you go to rehab or anything like that, um, you know, oh, I could, I could have a little drink. I could. Or, you know, I might just feel better if I starve myself for the day. No, so it doesn't. And I, I could of have to get into this mentality of that side that kind of addictive side is not going to win today um so i'll do things i'll like go out for a walk or you know actually the um the the walks really help i was going to ask you what do you do to oh. tick tock yourself out of that so it's perfect that you said that but walks really yeah. help because i hate walking but everyone says oh just go for a walk when you're angry when you're anger I, and, and I still find this now is because sometimes I have a real drop in my moods um I get very irritable quickly and anger um so again walk I, I I know walking sounds boring I find if I do a strenuous exercise um if I find that I go for a run mm -hmm. it doesn't work for me because then what happens then is um, because I feel very angry in myself, whether it's because I had a bad eating day uh, the day before or maybe I'm craving, you know, because even the years down the line, even though I've been sober for like three years. Oh, congratulations. Those um, triggers. Oh, thanks, Faye. Thank you. You know, those triggers um, and when you're feeling angry or depressed or, you know, those kind of cravings come. Now, what I find is strenuous exercise does is actually is actually I find bad for me okay. um, just because I find um, like, oh, I'm really angry and the pounding on the treadmill and yeah. all these emotions no if i'm You're doing feeding into relaxing, it yes yes okay. i don't know if anybody else finds that as well but it isn't easy you know if you've never had a um an addiction you could go oh what are they you know what is she on about but when you have and you they'll know exactly what we're talking about yeah 
yeah yeah totally totally and it isn't easy even when you go to re- I, a very close friend of mine has just come out of rehab and I tell you what's happened there is um he's then found he's got all this debt um, mm-hmm. Because he went into rehab, spent all the money on rehab. And then it's like, well, this is triggering me because I've got all this debt. Isn't about with drugs, with drink. It isn't actually about, I didn't find it was actually about having fun anymore. What it was about was to use it to numb. Um, and, and I suppose now it's, um, I, like I said, I either go out walking or it's, it's just, or shop, shopping is always a good thing, but I do find at the moment with the whole masks, it's yeah. not really great shopping experience. So I'll go online now, and, and if I buy a new outfit for work, it's kind of that, that serotonin yep. level. Going, that's going what I was saying. With, that's what I was saying with TikTok. It, that's, I, just every time it's like this rush of like dopamine and serotonin, like, oh, you're feeling great. Great. And, and do you find that with social media as well? Is if someone puts like a really nice comment, it gives you a little high? Immediately, it gives you a yeah. Bit like, oh, this is I great. Actually, I posted on Facebook um, saying that I was doing this, which I think a lot of people didn't believe me because I said I was doing another interview previously this year and it didn't happen. But um, oh, regardless... Thanks. Um, but I was trying to do my little setup and uh, he was like, just vibe with her, chat with her and you'll do great. And all I, I literally yeah. was like, all I needed was that comment. And that just instantly boosted my whole mood, my whole spirit. <laughs> that is so good. Yeah. So I want to before, because uh, I know we've been on the phone for a while. I don't know how much time you have or but That's we're okay, uh, babe. okay i'm sorry i am such a chatterbox i love honestly. it i love it though you it's honestly going and- i wouldn't mind <laughs> i would see honestly normally i hate it and but like i know what i was getting into and i, I knew i was interviewing and i wanted to hear you talk and everything you're saying if you only knew my life and the life that i've lived in the last well i'm 26 I actually my birthday was the 16th so i was looking and i was like oh i thought you were scorpio but you're two days off that's right, yeah. Well, my, my son's is the 13th of November. Wow, so, all right. Well, I know. It's, this I'm is so together. weird. So, uh, <laughs> so how do I get on season two of Slag Wars? No, I'm just kidding. Oh, so true. Oh, yeah. But um, while we're on the subject of Slag Wars, um, yeah. I'm going to play well, what the... a show it's going it to be. It looks amazing. What... Now, how this all came about. So, um, obviously, I know a lot of fans out there are uh, like, well, why aren't you going on Drag Race? Why aren't you, you know, why aren't you been accepted on there? And I went to the um, Drag Race show, Drag Con in the UK, and yep. I was planning to come out um, to do Drag Con in the US. But of course, thing uh, COVID happened. Yeah. Um. So everybody was going, oh, why? You know, why aren't you judges? And and we thought, you know what? Every and also everybody was going right. We you need your own reality show. Why haven't you got? You know. We thought. Yeah. <laughs> so I tell you what. Okay. So um, basically, then Daddy Couture. Oh my God! I absolutely. I don't know if I can say um his name, but the owner of Daddy Couture was like, "We need this. You need this. You you both have worked so hard, and absolutely. he's the most lovely guy. The whole team for Daddy Couture is like I said to you, a family. They're absolutely amazing, and you know, and and." It's, it's just great so it all started from there um and then we had so uh, me and Rebecca did a um a uh like a porn with men.com a tale of two cock destroyers, destroyers. <laughs> and how amazing we weren't actually fucking in it it was I like I didn't wow, know that the, like, you know <laughs> I like read about it and I remember seeing the clips and I remember being excited we because so I'm a big Johnny Rapid fan and Joey yeah. uh, um oh, Joey, yeah. Joey Mills like amazing. Yeah. Oh my god, babes. Yeah. And and you know, we were so lucky. Like men.com, this amazing, so- massive um LGBT gay community. This is like amazing. So then then again was like we went to them and we're like we got we re- want to do this show we want to do this show slag wars yeah. and it all went from there we managed to film everything while we were in lockdown 
lockdowns, which is just like so lucky. That's um, perfect, yeah. You know, we handpicked all the contestants. Um, it was just absolutely an amazing, amazing time. And like I said, what a show, you know, what a show. And we were so lucky that men.com were there, Daddy Couture, all the contestants, all the family were there. And it is going to be, this show is going to be amazing because it is just such a sex positive show. There's no sex in it, but you will see it is so sex positive. It's it's a whole, you know, being a cock destroyer is, is like I said, what, it's what is in here. It doesn't matter what you look like. Yeah. It's, it's how you feel in here. And that's what the show is all about. Um, It's really celebrating that. And there's drama in there. You have me crying, you know, oh, all man. of that. So, so it is their face. So do yes. you mind if we play the trailer real quick? <laughs> Let's do it. Perfect. All right. So here is the trailer yeah. for the upcoming Hello. show, Slag Wars. Slag, 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 slag. We are in for a wild ride. We handpicked seven of the sexiest people to come to the British countryside to decide who's going to be the next <laughs> pop destroyer. Welcome to Slag Wars. He is so good looking. Sex positive and kind. I think I've got a message around sex work that's important. But also oh my God, who is he? Who is he? Someone who's hilarious and confident. Oh, oh, that's so hot. Oh, so oh my god. <laughs> I've seen him. I've Ash. seen him on TikTok. Orgies actually. all around, baby. Bring, Bring it. Multiple. Someone <laughs> hot. <laughs> <laughs> we know oh that in this God, industry we can get fetishized a lot for, course, our, for yeah. our race. I open oh, up the, the house being non-binary and I'm and there's black, the touching I'm moments queer, too, I'm like proud. Oh, you are my God. best friend. I love you, you so. I love you. Oh, I love I you love so much. So much. I love you guys. American person, our voices yes. get hurt a lot. We're zipped up like oh, a f- carpet bag yeah. and we're pushed to the side. This is the first time I'm feeling part of a family in the queer community. That's amazing. And it feels oh, great. Love. I tried taking my own life, Rebecca, yes. and you saved it by bringing me to New York. You brought seven very different people together, and this is what it means to be a cop destroyer. It's gonna be a slag war! <laughs> I don't want to take some things, but this should be a walk in the park. I have no idea what's gonna happen. <laughs> I'm even shaking right now. You both don't look a day over 103. You do want to win this, right? Get sanctified that business, mother. Yeah. This is going to be an odd decision. I'm just so sorry. Yeah, brother, yeah. Go despunk the world. Oh, yes, the baby. And there's right. Chase. Chase Icon, I scrolled past them on Twitter, I think, the beginning of this year, and I am obsessed. I love them. They're... She is amazing and she sounds exactly like Lady Gaga and it's ridiculous. I know, it's like amazing, yeah. So <laughs> tell me about what the show is. Is what 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 is there challenges? Is it kind of like a Yeah, is- yeah. So there's there's basically um challenges. Um so it's a very sex positive positive show. So we have challenges that are very sex positive, they they highlight talents where it is, okay. it's about having fun because sex is fun, consensual sex is fun. And there's also good, good, um, you know, meanings in there. Like we talk about consensual and and all of that. Okay. Like I can't say much more about the yeah, yeah, absolutely. Because, um, because obviously it, the show isn't yet, but the contestants are amazing. The you know the drama is amazing. You know the relationships that are formed there are amazing. That's and what again, I took from it. Like a, yeah totally and it really has meaning you know there's there's so many different people in there who have gone through so much different walks of life from all over so true and it's so so important that you know we've all come together from all different walks of life and we still celebrate and support each other and that's what it really means to me so the show so we're doing this interview this is being filmed on a monday which is your birthday i'm gonna post it on a wednesday the show comes out on friday and where where can people watch it 
So it's on www.slagwars.com. So it's got its own platform as well. Okay. And it's totally free. Totally Perfect. free. Perfect. That's to okay. That's amazing. No you guys are queens. No cable or anything. Yeah. So, so true. So, so Generous and queens. <laughs> it's brilliant, babes. Yes. Yes. I love it. And thank you again to men.com because we could have not done that without them. So. Absolutely. Uh, so uh, you are amazing. And we've t- you've covered so much that I've already had written down and I had to go backtrack and oh, she yes, already answered right. that. So it's perfect. Um, so I thought I wanted to do, it doesn't have to be too rapid fire. You just, we're going to do a quick, like a Vogue 73 questions kind of thing, but it's <laughs> about 40, 43 or something like that. <laughs> Come on, brain, let's go. All right. <laughs> so we are going to, they're all over the place from sexual questions, non-sexual questions, random, right. would you rather, what would you do, what's your favorite this, that kind of thing. Love so, this. All right. So number one, what is your favorite sex toy? Uh, vibrator. Vibrator. Okay. Yeah. Favorite part of being in the uh, sex worker industry? Oh, um, cock. Cock. Least favorite part about <laughs> being in the sex sex worker industry. Um, negativity. Okay. Most famous person you've met since coming out onto the scene. Oh, oh my god! There's so many. I can't answer that. There's so many. <laughs> Weirdest thing a man has ever asked you to do, whether it be on set, off set, in oh, your own personal. Um, basically, cut off. It was in a booking, and it was cut off his um skin tag. Okay. Yeah. (laughs) Weirdest thing a woman's ever asked you to do? Um, a woman's never asked me anything to do anything weird. Say women aren't that weird. Actually, do you know what? I am very perverted. So maybe I I am. I'm one of the. I'm. I'm a weirdo, which is totally great. I'm a sexual pervert weirdo. So weirdest (laughs) thing you've ever asked someone to do to you then? Oh, okay. Um. Right. Let me think. Let me think. It's gonna be okay, good. <laughs> so once, once I was zipped up in a in a zipper um, with cockroaches and worms in there because I wanted to know what it felt like, and it really turned me on. So they just poured it all in and zipped me up while I played. <sighs> No! Yes. Oh my god, that makes me crawl out of my skin. Does it? Oh my god! I know. I, right. I really want because I wanted that vulnerability and that kind of humiliation. I really like that. So, and people have asked me if I'm into like BDSM or being tied up yeah. or any of that, and that's something that I've always been even like afraid to show vulnerability. So, in that part of my life, it's like I don't like having zero control kind of thing, and it's like it freaks yeah, me yeah. out. <laughs> All right, moving on. If a uh, favorite non-sexual act that feels sexual or feels sexy or makes you feel sexy. Oh, oh, racing. The racing. F1, the okay. Cars. Yeah. The I heard that you're a good, you're so a, boring. I heard that you're a race car gamer. You play race car games. <gasps> yes. And you're going to yes. teach Rebecca how to play GTA. <laughs> yes. So, yes. Uh, what is your, do you have a favorite book? Oh, um, do you know what? I try and read loads of self-help books. So I like okay. self-help books that help me. Yes. Yeah. Right. Actually, am I? Oh, no, I haven't got it here, but I'm reading one at the moment that's very good. Do you have a favourite TV show other than Slag Wars? Oh, I love reality shows. I cannot choose one apart from Slag Wars, of course. Yes. Um, but yeah, it's all reality for me. I love reality shows. Do you ever watch uh, I Love New York? Did you watch that back in the day? New York yes. and Flavor of Love. Yes, that was I'm like so reality yes. TV gold. All right. Uh, this question you totally don't have to answer. <laughs> this is all up to you. How many men have you been with? Right. So me and Rebecca have worked this out. And it's oh. been over, yeah, it's been over 15,000. Okay. How Do you know how many women you've been with? Uh, women, I would say... <sighs> Well, in my private, so escorting life, not many, because it's usually couples and, and women actually don't usually pay for me unless it's a couple. Okay. Um, but in my private life, I'd say at least, God, because I was experimenting. So this one I haven't thought about, but I've exp- been experimenting with women since I was like 10. Okay. Um, so I, let me go, I reckon... 4,000. I'm going to go for okay. that. Yeah. Okay. 
you said you're are, you're pansexual. Do you who do you think yeah. gets you going more, men or women? Oh, I or can't say because it's, it's anyone. I I find Perfect. with anyone, and that that include includes um transsexual women and transsexual men as well. Absolutely. Um and non-binary. It's that little bit of someone that I think. Oh my god and i always find it like i also people say to me sorry i know these are quick fire um no it's but right. people say to me oh surely you can't like them and i'm like yes because i find a little bit of them so fucking hot <laughs> what is your favorite position oh pile drive pile when i'm drive. just like right right um, over so my legs so right over my yep. head and i'm coming in that way okay okay i see i like a good over the head motion <laughs> yes <laughs> Speaking of TikTok, this is another question. Speaking of TikTok, there has been a trend, I don't know why it's a thing, of girls queefing on command. They're queefing and love. doing a queef off. Is that something you can do or no? I would love to do that. <laughs> That's like, I didn't know how many women this is actually a thing that they can do or, or how many, how many people oh with <laughs> vaginas. I was like, how many of y'all can do this? Um, what's the last thing you purchased online? Oh, last night it was um, an outfit for work. Okay, most expensive thing you've purchased in your whole life. Ooh. Uh, um, my tits. Okay. Yeah. All, all five, all five of them. Yes. <laughs> um, if you could change anything about your life and go back, would you? And what would it be? No. No, the one thing I would change about my life is I'm very, very manic. I can't rest. I okay. so, so in that that is probably something I'd, I would love to change, but I think that I can because my mind just races all the time. If it isn't work, it's like worrying. So I wish my mind would just rest a little more. So that would probably be. <laughs> I wish the same. I was up until three o'clock this morning. <laughs> preparing oh and all of that number one tip for anyone starting out or wanting to start out in the industry i am research make sure you research if you're going into point make sure you research the companies i can't stress this more than enough because there are a lot of people out there who will rip you off won't pay you you have to be strong and another thing is you have to do things for yourself i've never asked anyone for help i've yep. literally done my research and basically i've gone to the companies there's no easy way to get into porn you do it you know be proactive that's the best okay. advice i can give perfect what uh who would you want to play you in a movie about your life oh my god okay Okay, right. I cannot remember her name, but I can picture it in my head. Oh my god, it's the it's the woman um in what's the movie? Oh my god. I just, <laughs> um so the movie with um Christian Bale, uh it's a boxing movie uh with Christian oh. Bale and um Hillary Swank. Is that her Hold million on, dollar baby? No. No, it's with Christian Bell and Christian um, Bale. Mark. Boxing. Mark, um, what's his name? He does the, he's his from word. he's from Boston. Is the he? Fighter. Oh my god! So yeah, the fighter. Yeah, what's the woman in that? Because she's mm. also the princess. She's the Let's princess. Good. Oh, Amy oh. Adams. Amy Adams. Oh my god, that yes. is perfect. That would be hilarious. Yes. Yes. Okay. Um, she's in. Um. Oh my God, I can see that. She's an easy A and she is hilarious in that movie. Or not easy A. Yeah. Bad teacher. Cameron bad, Diaz. Bad yeah, 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 yeah. She's like. Yeah. Like, yeah. Oh my God. <laughs> okay. Uh, that's a good question. Uh, scariest thing you've ever done for fun other than getting ziplocked into cockroach bag? <laughs> um, scariest thing. Oh my God. When, when me and Rebecca did our ghost hunters and we used a Ouija board. Oh my gosh, is I that online? Like, I'll have to go look for that. Yeah, YouTube or Rebecca's YouTube. Okay. Uh, favorite snack growing up? Oh my God, sugar packets from Burger King. Just straight up sugar? Straight up sugar, yeah. <laughs> no wonder you're so sweet. No, I'm <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, First thing you think of when you wake up in the morning? Coffee. I thought you were going to say cop. <laughs> 
no, I have to have a coffee before cock. I, I heard you say that, you, that your favorite drink is coffee. Is that you don't yeah, drink any? It so is, but I'd like a cock dipped in coffee. Just a cock cock stir. Just stir it with a dick. A cock stir coffee. A cock stir coffee. Do it. <laughs> I love it. How do you take your coffee? Black cream sugar. Oh, so I love a bit of hazelnut milk in there because I is normal milk I can't have. Um, I have my little coffee machine with a little bit of sweetener or honey, okay. and like I just said, a bit, a bit of dick sperm. Just, just Get one little, dick just one sperm. little. Yes. Just, you know, send, but you know what? I have guys who send me condoms in the post. No, so you I do not. Send... You love it. Oh, that would be something I would be like. All right, you guys, I love everything you do but this one needs to stop <laughs> um okay you have to wear a t-shirt with one word on it for the rest of your life what is the word okay. slut i knew you were gonna say that i knew you were gonna say that um if you had to describe your life with one song what would it be oh my god um it has to be something nirvana okay I, I all I can pick because one of my favorite songs is Rate Me by Nirvana. So <laughs> <laughs> okay, we'll go with that one. <laughs> um, if you could rid the world of one thing, what would it be? Oh I I would say negativity. Imagine true, that right? with no negativity and, and people weren't horrible to each other. I'd be like, oh my god, this is like an amazing world. This is my world. Totally agree. <laughs> Um, if you were the eighth dwarf out of Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs, what would your name be? Slaggy. Slaggy. Okay. Okay. We love it. Uh, <laughs> would you rather a rewind button or a pause button on your life? If you had the um, option. Oh my God. That's so difficult. It has to be, I wouldn't want, re, hmm, I wouldn't want a rewind to say pause. Pause. Just hold on for a second. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, sorry, I've got the boiler guy here. Oh. Yeah, don't worry. He's just bending over to me right now. <laughs> Ooh. I love it. <laughs> what, what is your biggest turn off? Oh, biggest turn off. What could it be? Uh, actually, someone who's just horrible. Mean That's just people. like, oh my God. Yeah. Okay. Uh, yell the first word that comes to mind right now. Yes. Something you've done that no one would expect you to have done in your life. Like something that wow. you could say that no one would have guessed. They'd be like, oh, you, okay. Oh my God. I don't, oh, I don't know. I actually don't know on that one. I don't okay. know. I'm so, yeah, I just put everything out there. So yeah. <laughs> All right. We'll skip that one. Most important yeah. thing in your life right now. Oh, my son. Your son, absolutely. Yeah, it's always that one, yeah. If you could give one sentence about life to someone, what would it be? Make sure, more than anything, that you're okay and love yourself. Absolutely, that is such a great message. Um, what is your guilty pleasure song? Songs that no one else likes, but you love to listen to. Oh, guilty pleasure song. Oh my gosh, okay. Um... Oh, I don't, do you know what? I don't know. I don't know. Oh, I am queen. Um, I love to ride my bicycle. I love okay, to I, ride, ride my bicycle. Okay, I ride my bicycle. I love that. Uh, okay. Uh, the, are you a cat or a dog person? Cat. You're a cat person? All right. Yeah. Uh, what do you want to be remembered for most when you die? Oh, wow. I know that one went um, from, are you a cat person to morbid? I love that. Um, a sex, po sex positive slag who loves her son. <laughs> Perfect. Uh, if you could choose any superpower, what would it be? Uh, um, wow. So it's so changed over the years because it used to be like flying, um, yeah. breathing underwater. But I think that, and I wouldn't even want mind control because, and that used to be one. I, no, yeah. I, I wouldn't want that now because I love like people thinking for themselves. Um, so... Oh, God, that's a really difficult one. The power of love. Love. I yeah, I have a little love it. gun. I feel it 
right? You're just yeah, a little love gun. That means something different depending on who you're talking to. That, that's an argument. Love. <laughs> Take some of that. You want some of this love? love. There's too much hatred going on over there. Take yeah. It. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I can picture that. We're going to make a little cartoon. Someone's going to make that. Someone, if you're yeah. seeing this, draw Sophie as the love, the love superhero. The, yes. What would your wrestling name be? Oh my God, I love it. Um, it would have to be, it would definitely have to be something warrior. I think okay. that's, yeah, the cock warrior. I, I dun, was cracking dun, dun, up. <laughs> yeah. I was cracking up. You asked the the uh, your live who's the most uh, famous um, wrestler right now, and they said Sasha Banks, and you were like Sophie Fox. <laughs> 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 yeah. I love it. Uh, oh, what fictional world would you like to visit and or live in, and why? Like Narnia, Harry Potter's world, Star Wars. Like which fictional world would you ever want to live in? Oh my god, I actually. I actually oh um Avatar World. Avatar. Okay, I yeah. love a good Avatar. They're yes. sex positive beings. Yeah, exactly. I, they have to be. Yeah. <laughs> What's your favorite Disney movie? Um, Pocahontas. Oh, okay. This one's fun. In the event of a zombie apocalypse, which three yeah. people, famous or non-famous, preferably famous so people know them, uh, would you want to be on your side or in your team of zombie fighters? Oh my god! Um, obviously, my son. So my son, because he's so good at Call of Duty, <laughs> um, that the thing is, I know I'd be safe with him. Okay. So definitely my son, because he's like a mental. Um, <laughs> he's like so okay. aggressive. So I'm like, he's definitely gonna be on my side, Rebecca. Yeah. Um, but the thing is, I'd have to have Rebecca and her family, her mum and daughter. Um, so so that that will class as one. Um, and also who else? Um oh my god, who else would it be? My dad's pretty good, to be honest with you. Okay. He's like bratty champion, black belt. So I'd say my dad as well. I would have chose you, Lady Gaga, just because she'd be fun to hang out with, and then like yeah. Arnold Schwarzenegger or something. Oh <laughs> Someone crazy but Yes. Uh, yes. If you could choose any other career, would you and what would it be? No. No? It wouldn't change no. it all? Perfect. No. Most embarrassing thing you've ever done? Oh. Oh. Not something other people think is embarrassing. Something that genuinely made you feel like, oh shit, I just did that. <laughs> oh, it, because I'm such a talker, sometimes my mouth runs a bit away with me. And sometimes I've said things and I'm like, after I'm like, that wasn't funny. That was actually a bit like weird and a bit maybe not rude because I'm never rude, but a bit like maybe I shouldn't have said that. So yeah. sometimes, sometimes, yeah. Yeah. Sometimes I'm like, oh, because I get so excited about things, you know. So sometimes I'm like, oh, shoot. That's me, a hundred percent. I was saying something earlier, and I was like, "Oh, I, I got to change my word choice there." <laughs> yeah, yeah, um, I do that. Yeah. So, um, with the holidays coming up, what is yeah. your favorite holiday, and what do you plan to do for these upcoming holidays? Oh my god, I love Christmas. I love Christmas again because I didn't have really much when I was younger. I probably go overboard with my son now, but you know what? It's a real day, so. Like the thing is, is I wake up, I get back to all my fans on my only fans, and um, and then um, then my son wakes up. We do the presents, and it's it's all about the food for me actually, because it's the yep. one day where I like stop. You you got to have some fun here, you know, and not thinking yep. about it. And a nice Christmas pudding. I'm, you know, we're both meat eaters, so we have the little pigs in blankets and. Oh, yes. Oh my god, I love cooking. So yes. What's we well, can add another question. What's your favorite meal to make? Oh, roast dinner. Roast dinner. So what? What do you? I heard you say that last night when I was watching that same video. You said I love a good roast. What are you roasting? Um. So roast chicken, roast potatoes, anything stuffing, roasted. Roast, yeah, roast, yeah. You know, I spit roast roasting. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yes, you know. Oh, um. <laughs> Perfect. Okay. That was fun. I wish I was better at asking the questions, but we're good. It's also a question. I've been told by British people that when I put on a British accent, that I sound like I'm from Essex. 
oh is that God, a thing you have to do it okay okay so this is what i would talk like if i was going to be british i would i would say hi i'm here with sophie we've we've got some lovely things to talk about <laughs> i felt so stupid doing that but i love it no, you, well, honestly love you made me feel so bit. confident no, but that is brilliant. With a little bit of Australian in there. Someone else told me that that I switch in and out of Australian. <laughs> I'm like, I don't know what's the difference. My oh only my God, references so are fun. like, my only references are Harry Potter and Sweeney Todd. And Sweeney Todd, both of oh well, Helena Bonham Carter's accent, but she's got like I a love wicked so cocky oh Cockney <laughs> accent. Um, okay. Really right. love so, it. Here so we go. This look was uh i do drag occasionally and uh, i didn't have an actual costume for halloween so i was like you know what i'm gonna throw on this blonde wig i'm gonna oh do God, some bold look and i'm gonna say i'm a cock destroyer and uh so this this is what i posted i'm so cringy and oh i God. will do anything for dick <laughs> and i will do- <laughs> <laughs> that was That's one clip brilliant. i thought i, I was that. funny and this is oh, also, yeah. this I is me that. and my ex and he does drag too. And I, we posted this and a lot of you, everyone was like, you mean two biological women? Like, oh my God, <laughs> I love Hi guys and girlies. Oh. Do you know what we are? So We're fucking cock destroyers. Oh yeah, fucking give me that spunk. Oh, fucking this. spunk all over my face, you know? Give me that dick. I'm driving yeah. for dick. Mm, cock mm. destroyer. Oh, oh, yeah. oh. I love this so much. Oh, that end shot, though. Oh my gosh. I love and that. The, yes. And then, so I posted those two, and you you followed me, and I was like, oh my god, one of the cock stories just followed me. I'm geeking out. And then in May, when you. quarantine happened, I was like, you know, uh, let me let me reach out to as many people that I can think of that are on Instagram that I've had interactions with and see what's Aww. up. And I manifested this back in May. How oh cool would god, it be if I got to interview? Here. And now we oh are God. here and I'm obsessed. I oh, I now. love it so much. Honestly, it means a real lot. And like we said, look, if we can all help each other out a bit, if we can get your platform up, you know, and um, and, and just keep on going together. Because at the end of the day, that's the most important thing is being there for each other, supporting each other and supporting our businesses as well. 100%. Unity, so, especially. I know I, I know there's I, well, I don't know. I don't know how politics and stuff like that go in the UK. But right now, I'm sure you know that there's been a lot going on in the last four years totally. with our president. and Totally. So, the one thing that I definitely think the world needs to take away from everything is unity and building each other up because it takes Gosh. zero energy and zero effort to be nice and positive to someone and make their That day. is so, so true. And I mean, we're um, back in the second lockdown as well to the second oh, December. Wow. So we're at home. I've, you know, I've got my son here because he's in isolation at the moment, 14 days um, because he had uh, a, a, someone at school um, basically had COVID. So now oh, his gosh. years so it's it's a pretty difficult time you know for everyone and um and like like you were in lockdown as well over there and i I would say you might be going into a second one i think that's what's coming up yeah yeah so honestly you're so right we we just need to be there for each other support all our businesses um because all the small businesses are going under and i just think it's really important to help uh, where we can at the moment and for the very last thing i want to do and i'll let you go i wanted to do a quick thing because this is hometown highlights i wanted to see how you pronounce certain massachusetts hometown because a lot of people don't know how to say Let's these words th- this is going to be hilarious my bristol accent you i hope so I, well. I feel like some of these you have i feel like you have some of the towns we have but oh God, um, which is going to make it funnier because you'll probably pronounce it that way right here we right, go right all right, this is actually my hometown. How would you pronounce right. this? Marlborough. Marlborough. So I would say Marlboro. Okay, Mar- okay. on oh, Marlboro. I love it. You guys pronounce every, most of the syllables. Yeah. I love it. Worcester. You knew that one. Okay. Yeah, babe. Say War- Worcester, Worcester. Oh, situate. Situate. <laughs> situate, okay. I love it. <laughs> Gloucester. That's the one I knew. I'm like, I feel like they have that over there. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, Leominster. It's actually Leminster. <laughs> Deadham. No, Deadham. 
So this one, we love to do this. This is dedum, like just like dedum. you say the H dedum. dedum. Uh, oh, that's and then so this cool. one throws framingham. you way off. Like framingham. This one's, framingham. This one's actually framing ham. Framing ham. Oh my god. <laughs> so some of them are one, yeah. And I be- oh, one more. But it's be- bila ica. Bila ica. <laughs> This one is he Bill Ricca. Swear, but I'm quite dyslexic. So this is brilliant. Like. I love it. I love it. <laughs> so that is all we had for that part. Aww. And uh, I am just so grateful that you agreed to do this. And again, everyone go check out her Instagram, her OnlyFans, yeah, her and Rebecca's OnlyFans only together. Um, so and Slag Wars Slag. on slagwars.com. Yeah, yes, slagwars.com as well. And just to say to my guys, girlies, and my non binary friends, I love you all. And Shane, thank you so much. <laughs>